afternoon, everybody. How's it going, guys and gals? I'm Davey Z. Coming to you live from my garage here in Alden, New York. Uh, just stepping in to give you an update on my wife and I and what's going on in our life right now with this COVID-19. So far, so good. As you know, in my last video, I told you that my wife, Sean, was uh, actually one of her co-workers at Topps Markets here in Buffalo, was diagnosed with COVID-19. And, you know, thank God for Topps. They took immediate action. They got him out of there. He was sick. They noticed it. They got him out of the building. He never went to the cafeteria. He never went to the store in there. No offices, didn't have any contact with anybody, so that was the A-OK. -okay. We don't know who the guy is, man, and, and uh, it's OK because he's now just about healed up and he had mild symptoms and uh, we're OK. Uh, but it is pretty scary, I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, today's Friday, March 20th, Buffalo, very Catholic kind of uh, town. Myself, I'm Catholic, my wife's Catholic, and uh, we haven't been going to Mass because of this COVID. But we watch it on YouTube every Sunday morning and I get the same, you know, praise I get with God at church. It's just I'm at home. Actually, it's a little more comfortable because I can drink coffee. The only difference is we don't go to communion, but that's okay. We eat. Um, but it's you know, getting to the point where people are getting stupid. Um, I went to Topps Markets, like I said, to get some groceries. Not really groceries, just I was looking for paper towels, toilet paper, a couple fire logs for the wood stove to get the fire going, because we might lose power today. We're supposed to have 70 mile an hour winds coming off the lake, so that sucks. So we're probably gonna lose power for a couple hours, maybe a couple days, who knows. Then with this COVID go around, it just adds salt to the wounds, because you can't listen, or I'm sorry, you can't watch TV unless, like I'll be watching on my iPad or my phone. Every time we lose power, the internet goes out. I don't have a generator because when we left our house, here in Alden, a couple years ago, tried to sell it. We sold our generator. We didn't think we needed it again where we were at. And now we need it. I don't have one. And try to find one in this time, you know. But all in all, my wife, Sean, myself, my son, and the dog and cat, my buddy Carl next door, well, behind me. Uh, he's on the other side of that wall, his apartment. He's fine. We all don't have any symptoms. Nobody's sick. And Monday will be the 14th day that the guy was in her office. So if we make it till Monday with no symptoms, we're pretty good. They say normally you get symptoms within three to four days. That's what I heard. So we'll see, we still got a few days left. Then after that, um, I'm gonna be heading out in April to pick up my trike. I was all set to go to Raleigh to get my, my Mountaineer, you know, John Deere Jr. trike. And um, for my dear friend, my new dear friend, Jackie on Facebook, who sold it to me uh, down in Raleigh, North Carolina. But, you know, for obvious reasons, we didn't go. I don't want to get caught up in this crap and have to go in a restaurant and some kid sneezes and next thing you know we're stuck in Raleigh. Uh, we'll just wait till it kind of boils down. But other than that guys, things are great. Uh, waiting on a few things, um, important, I don't want to get into it and I just thank my son every day for that. And um, you know, things are good. We're finding things to do around here. I've been out in the garage working on some uh, work that I have to get done for a customer and uh, cleaning my garage up. Tomorrow night, my, myself and my wife and a backtrack machine that I have. Backtracking machine is basically like a karaoke machine. It just plays the music behind me and we can sing along with it and I can play my guitar along with it. No drummer, no nothing, just my wife and I singing some tunes tomorrow night, seven o'clock. So if you wanna tune into that, right here at 7 p.m. Um, in Buffalo on Facebook Live. I, I can't go on YouTube Live yet, I gotta get more subscribers, so. If you could like and share and you know comment and subscribe to my channel, that would be great. Um, as soon as we get through this COVID-19 coronavirus bullshit, I'm going to be uh, taking my training for my trike flying and get up in the air this summer. But you know, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's scary, man. It's like a freaking movie, you know? And then, you know, my kids are on the other side of town. My ex-wife is in a nursing home type facility and they won't let anybody visit her. I think my daughter was able to go see her mom once in the last two weeks. My mother is in Arizona, and you know, I, you worry about your mom no matter what. Now with all this crap, I worry about her. She's turning 80 in November, but she's got the health of a 50 year old. So I, I'm not that concerned because my mom's very smart and uh, very knowledgeable and she's very healthy. 
So she'll stay indoors, like she said. But just in general, guys, you know, stay home, wash your hands. You know, I wash my hands all the time. Even before this COVID, I've washed my hands all the time. Always using sanitizer. When I go to Home Depot to get materials for work, when I go to a music store for my band, if I got gigs and I'm in a club, whatever. Like in the grocery stores, department stores, Home Depot, I just take the, the wipes they give you and I wipe down the cart, man, where I got my hands. Constantly do that. And uh, on my way out, I grab another one and do it again on my hands and I feel good about that. But you got to be extra cautious now. You got to really, really pay attention to that. And not for nothing, you know, if you, if you start getting a respiratory problem or you get a bad headache, just stay home. Hopefully it's not going to be bad. You can ride it out. If it gets real bad, go to the doctor. Don't be stupid. But, you know, I pray for all the families affected. I'm so sorry that you've lost loved ones. And, you know, um, it's terrible. It's a terrible thing. But God has a strange way of working. And when your number's called, your number's called. Unfortunately, it shouldn't be like this, but it is. And, uh, you know, I have a strong faith in God, and I believe it's for a reason. Maybe he's trying to wake us up down here, huh? Anyways, guys, I hope you're staying safe. Make sure you wash. Distance yourself from people six to ten feet. You know, if you got to go in a store, it's going to look stupid. I don't like doing it, but I'm wearing a mask now. I got a mask that I use for construction work and it's got the little filters in it, so it should be good enough for now. I know they say some of them aren't good, but this one's pretty good for dust and fumes, so it should help anyways. Um, and I don't feel safe. It, you know, I know I'm in a nice little town here and everybody's clean and happy, but you don't know who's got what, guys. You know, elbow bump, don't fist bump right now. Pull your shirt down and elbow bump, knee bump, whatever you gotta do. You know, the bars are closed. I don't know about you guys, but the state of New York is shut down. <clears throat> state of New York is shut down. Uh, Pennsylvania is shut down. I heard that, um, um, I think Washington is shut down. Hawaii, there's everybody one by one is shutting down all these states. So it's a wise decision from all these governors. Stay home, people. Stay home for a couple weeks. Get enough food together. Stay home. Enjoy your families. Go back to 1965 to 80 when there was no internet and, you know, the, we had to watch TV. Nothing wrong with watching TV. There's a lot of good programs. We got millions of channels. You got YouTube, you know, stay home, all right? Listen, guys, I hope you're safe. I don't want to see anybody get, you know, uh, sick and worst case scenario, kick the bucket. And I know I don't want to. So, knock on wood, we all stay healthy. I'm Davey Z. I love you all. Please stay safe and say no to hate and racism and... All that happy horse shit, people. I'm out of here.